What's going on? It's KC from kc-sounds.com. So today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to get started selling beats. So if you're a new music producer, new beat maker, and you've got a few beats under your belt and in your locker, and you're thinking, yeah, now, now it's time to start getting paid for these, then this video is gonna help you get started. Number one, you're gonna need a domain name. So your domain name is gonna be your producer name. So example, I'm KC Sounds. So my domain name is obviously www.kc-sounds.com. The reason why I've got a dash in there is because at the time when I went to buy the domain name, it was, it was unavailable. So I had to go for dash sounds.com. I wanted to go for KC Beats, but obviously that was being used as well. And KC Music was being used. So KC Dash seems, KC Sounds seemed like the best, next best producer name to use. So you're gonna need a domain name to start off with, you're gonna need to buy that. And you can, number two, you can, you can buy that from a web hosting site like godaddy.com, which is what I use. And you can check the availability of your domain name on the same website. Web hosting site is gonna be the place where you're gonna run your website from. So number three, a website. My website is run through WordPress, it's a plugin. I'll leave a link in the description if this if that's the sort of website that you want you can have the same sort of thing and you can actually change it so it's more unique and ties in with your brand if it's some if that's not something that you want to do and you want to go and spend a whole heap of money on someone creating a, a website from scratch then you can do that or you can just go to Wix and create a website through 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 them number four is you're gonna need a beats player uh, I use Airbit Airbit allows you to embed a, an actual beats player on there so you just upload your beats through Airbit, put your prices and your licenses and stuff, license agreements on there so when an artist goes to buy your beats they can just click the beat they want and then add to cart and then the beat will be sent to them with a license so that's definitely something worth looking into. Um, there are other other places like BeatStars but I, I've never used BeatStars to sell beats and I, so I can't really comment on that but it, do your research and see what works best for you. So number five, you're gonna need a PayPal account. So the, with the PayPal account, I would say set up a business PayPal account because that's what you are. Um, with the PayPal account, you connect that to your Airbit website, your Airbit player. So when artists come in to buy beats, link straight, they can just pay straight through PayPal, which is, it's just easy, uh, no fuss. It's, it's secure, do you know what I'm saying? And if there's any problems, you can sort it out with, with PayPal or the artist that's bought the beat. It's, it's, much, it's a safer thing to do, I'd say. Number six, so you're gonna need social media accounts. You're gonna need some social media accounts. I'm using Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, these, by having these social media accounts and being active, of, active on these accounts, this will allow you to drive traffic back to your main website so people can go and buy beats. And the good thing about having these social media sites as well is you can actually sell beats on these different social medias. You don't have to have the website, the, the main website to sell your beats because it's possible for you to sell beats on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. And if there's any other ones that you, you think you can sell beats and then do that, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the six things that I suggest to use to get started selling beats. So just to quickly recap, number one, you're gonna need a domain name. Two, you're gonna need a web hosting site such as GoDaddy. Three, you're gonna need a website. Four, a beats player embedded on your website so artists can come and purchase the beats with no hassle. Five, you're gonna need PayPal sorted out, so your business, pay, pay, business PayPal or your uh, personal PayPal, whatever you wanna do. Like I said, I suggest you do business. And number six is your social media accounts. So they're the six things that you're gonna to need to get started with selling beats online. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you feel like there's something I've left out, and then just drop a comment below. Or if you've already started selling beats and you do, you've done your process in a different way, drop a comment, let me see what you've done. I appreciate all the comments and the, the interaction I'm getting on, on this channel. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram. I'm always posting different clips and little tips and tricks on how to mix or make beats or whatnot that I don't always put on YouTube. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace. Peace.